Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for October 19th, 2014. Got a lot to show you this week. Uh, it's going to be at least a two part video, uh, maybe even three. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, bought a lot of stuff this weekend, spent a lot of money. And uh, was expecting to find a ton of stuff today, but surprisingly, uh, today kind of let me down. Uh, most of the, what I'm going to show you, I bought yesterday. But uh, some really unique things, uh, some good bargains, and uh, should make some good money on all of it. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, first yard sale I went to, a uh, lady had this uh, whole bin. It's a uh, Rubbermaid roughneck bin. Uh, she go to, went to open this up and set the stuff out. I said, tell you what, give me a price on the entire bin, bin and all, and uh, save you the hassle of uh, pulling all that out. She said $25 for everything, and uh, I took it for $25, and there are, I really haven't even looked through here, uh, here's, it's filled with transformers, there's an Optimus there, there's another uh, Optimus, uh, there's all sorts of guys. I don't even know uh, who they are. There's another Transformer. But uh, filled with Transformers and Voltron and all sorts of stuff. Uh, we'll have to get it sorted out and uh, put into groups. And you should make really good money off of this bin. And uh, when it's all done, I got a nice uh, heavy duty bin. I mean, that thing's. Uh, what does that sell for in the store? Ten? Ten dollars, maybe more? Uh, Crayola digital camera still has the uh, hookup stuff and the software and all. Two bucks on that. Really like this old fishing box. It's not really got a whole lot of stuff in it, but I paid two dollars. It's just plastic, but how cool looking is that? I mean, for a fisher, uh, fishing lure collector out there, this will clean up really good. Get some. We're going to clean it up. Get some pictures of it. And uh, I love that marbleized green. That, that is uh, very cool looking. And I imagine that's from the uh, '60s, maybe '50s. But uh, um, overall, it's pretty neat. Got a uh, Starrett. Starrett is top quality stuff. And this, if I can open a box right, got a Starrett Transit. And uh, Starrett is always high, high quality and uh, high priced. So can't imagine what a Transit's going for. Uh, but should be easy to look up. And uh, that was thirty dollars I paid for that. A couple pieces of clothing. This is a uh, Dior uh, jacket made in Italy. Um, no idea what it's worth. That was five, and also for the long coat, that's a. Uh, East St. Laurent, uh, that was 5 2. A couple of cross sticks, always do well with these old wooden sticks. Paid uh, $5 a piece for these, and uh, I always get right around 100 for them a piece. Kind of an unusual piece here. You can tell it's old. I mean, look at how the, the rubber on the uh, grip has uh, crackled with age. Quality piece made in Bedford, England. And uh, on the back here, made in England, guarantee of complied with the official test required by the International Hockey Board. So it's a field hockey stick. A little chip on the end there, but got it for a buck. Took a chance on it. Somebody's going to want an antique field hockey stick out there. A uh, box of Steinbach 
uh, figurines, Christmas figurines. That was five dollars for the four of them. Not in the best of shape, but uh, we can get a Steinbach figure for a buck twenty-five. That's a good deal. Holidays are right around the corner. Everybody's going to need a nut bowl. This is nice because it's uh, got a uh, solid brass um, cracker on it. Clean that up, and that was four dollars. A uh, guillotine paper cutter. Took a chance on this. Might have overpaid. I know these things go for pretty good money. Paid twenty for that. Really neat looking mid-century modern coffee pot. Looks like it's in really good shape. I haven't tried it out, but only five dollars. And uh, love that look. And it's a uh, regal. Some uh, Tupperware. Uh, which uh, sells well when it's complete and these are complete the uh, pickle containers I always buy these and they always sell for me buy a jar of pickles at the store you take them and you pour them in there and then you just hold a little strainer to get what you need uh, you can see dollar dollar and 250 a uh, Green Bay Packers, this is a leather jacket, never worn. Got this at a yard sale yesterday. And uh, when I first pulled up, the lady said, $40 on the jacket. Then the guy come over, he said, ah, give me 30. And so I offered 25 and he took it. Uh, so don't know what they go for, but it's gotta be some pretty good money being leather. Check out the Mutual of Omaha uh, placard. And this is aluminum, I think. And it's pretty neat. It's marked in a few places on the back. Let's see if I can uh, show you here. Mutual of Omaha sign, Clint Cosby office, San Jose, California, 1970. And it's got a name, Mark Taylor, 1975, and a few other things written here and there. So, cool piece. Uh, I'm guessing that was on the side of a building. But, uh, really well done. A whole bunch of uh, Lufthansa uh, matchbooks, $3 for the pack. A little 1934... Uh, Chicago World's Fair um, I guess that's a pepper or salt shaker 250 Bruce Springsteen lots of Bruce Springsteen fans out there pick that up for four looks like it's got some age to it Game Boy and three games there's a uh, Tetris and uh, Super RC Pro-Am and a uh, football it was five bucks for the uh, for lot. Uh, on this guy had these are pretty much junk knives. This, this, and this. He said, "Give me five dollars for the three of them." And he says, "But the case knife, I want fifteen. So I paid twenty dollars for this entire lot." This is a really good reproduction of a uh, German knife. It doesn't have a uh, maker's mark anywhere on it, but uh, pretty cool looking piece, uh, even though it's a reproduction. Uh, should be able to do well with that. And the uh, Indian knife, and uh, here's a all-in-one hatchet thing. Just picked up a blade, now this is German, this is World War II. Um, you can see uh, Carl Eichhorn, and uh, too bad it's uh, been broken off there, but uh, somebody will buy that and do something with it. Uh, that was 10 I play paid for that. Uh, nice little uh, pocket knife, Boy Scouts, and this is... 
see if I can get it to focus. L, F, and C. Um, they actually made the trench knives uh, for the troops in uh, World War I. Um, so that could have a little age on it. I uh, got some gun parts, some rifle bolts, six dollars. That's uh, the whole trick to these is finding out what rifle they go to. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know. A uh, good way to find out, take a picture of them, go to a, a gun forum on the internet, and uh, somebody will let you know. Um, but uh, that should be an easy sell. Uh, $6 a piece on that. Uh, picked up a uh, flash hider for a uh, AR-15. That was, uh, what was that, 5, 6, something like that. Oh, a lot of stuff in this chair. I'll well, check out the uh, bayonet I got. Is that cool or what? Uh, got this off eBay actually. Somebody, it was a straight bayonet at one time. Somebody thought they'd make uh, one of those uh, Turkish swords, I think. So they, uh, they did a good job, but kind of weird looking. Uh, I think I paid, ended up paying $25 once the shipping and all was figured in. Never seen this before. To be withdrawn from grenade before firing. And it's a grenade pin. Six bucks. Very unusual. Uh, kind of uh, goes without saying, but... Um, just uh, couldn't pass that up. Uh, that'll probably end up in my own collection. Uh, down here, tailgate seat. Paid five dollars for that, and that's still new in the box. A uh, lineman's telephone. Kind of an unusual piece. Uh, that was five bucks. Also five dollars, howdy doody, uh, toolbox, just a box. Uh, up here, an old, uh, I guess that's a salt shaker. From the Horn and Horn restaurant. Silver plate, most of the plates worn off. Seen a good bit of use. Uh, these might do well. I've had, I've sold a few of these in the past. Uh, not these, but uh, it's a clown head. And he has a head like this, and it's a juicer. Um, so I think uh, these go with it. Um, it was made in Japan just like these are. So anybody with one of them juicers is going to want the salt and pepper to go with their uh, piece. So paid a buck for those and uh, who knows what I'll get uh, that's at least a, a $25 piece of set I think um, like I said somebody will want those to complete their set pair of George Washington bookends uh, solid bronze brass um, Paid ten dollars for those. Couple of uh, oh, stuff over here. Tell you what, we're we're at the fourteen minute mark. We're gonna end it right here on the uniforms and uh, start two up in just a second.